Hello everyone. How are you? Well, today we're gonna have another video. I am going to talk about my experience during my interview. So my CR1 US, US visa interview experience. So I had my interview last August 16, 2018 at the US Embassy Manila. So para hindi ako malate sa interview ko, kasi nakaschedule ako at 9.40 a.m. And it will take one hour flight from my place going to Manila. So I decided to stay in the hotel, one of the hotel in Manila. I book a room there in Zin Zin Hotel, I guess Zin Hotel. Yeah. And then para maaga ako sa interview ko uh, in the morning. Okay, pagkagabi hindi ako masyadong nakatulog kasi kinakabahan ako. Uh, marami talaga akong iniisip baka baka anong mangyari baka ma denied yung visa ko I don't know but I have all the requirements with me I bring everything and at that night I still watching YouTube videos about US, US visa interview so that I can have an idea what to expect during the interview uh, hindi talaga ako nakatulog ng maayos. But then, it went out okay. So, uh, morning na. So, nagready ako. Naligo. Tapos, nagbihi. So, yung attire ko, formal attire lang siya. Nagsuot lang ako ng blazer. Uh, yeah. Uh, blouse. Tapos, blazer. May collar siya. And then, Uh, blouse, I know not blouse I mean nagwear ako ng dress tapos blazer, okay so dumating ako sa US Embassy at uh, I was early my, my interview is at 9.40am then I was there like 10 minutes before 9 so when I got there the line is very very long like early in the morning there's a lot of people already in the line so I, I I did I did ask the guard and then I brought my interview letter with me then he said hindi pa pwedeng pumasok kasi 940 pa yung appointment ko so pumunta mo na ako doon naghanap ako ng upuan para makaupo tapos uh, while waiting, I noticed that there is a label, non-immigrant visa. Then, hindi ko nakita yung paskil na for immigrant, excuse me, for immigrant visa. Yun kasi yung sa amin, CR1 spousal visa. Yung non-immigrant para yun sa mga fiancé visa. So while waiting, I was already waiting like 20 minutes, then I just, I just, uh, pumunta lang lang ako sa guard, nagtanong na talaga ako, Kuya, nasaan, asaan po ba yung line sa, sa CR1 visa, spousal visa? At sabi ng guard, ah, kanina pang pinapasok, kahit hindi pa nila scheduled na time, uh, hindi kasi, Maybe that time, hindi masyadong marami yung, yung spousal visa. Napakarami kasi yung non-immigrant, yung, yung fiancé visa. So, nakapasok ako kahit maaga pa. So, I was happy. I was happy. Then, then you, will, you will pass by mayroong mga... Mayroong mga uh, mga tao doon na magtatanong sa iyo so where is your uh, interview letter then you're going to give it to them to show it to them then they are going to ask if you're pregnant or not and if you are they are going to stamp x 
EX. I didn't know wh what it was. I was just I was just looking sa mga kasamahan ko. Then later on I found out that is uh, meaning expedited expedited yung pina pinapadali. Okay. So nakapasok na ako sa uh, ano sa US Embassy, nakapas nandun ako sa loob, tapos may window doon na maghihintay, maghihintay kayo na tawagin. So, mag-perform na naman kayo ng line, then you need to wait for your turn. So, while waiting, mayroong, mayroon kang ma, makakasama na iba na uh, kinakabahan din. Pariho kayo nang nararamdaman. Tapos, hindi nyo, uh, hindi ma-explain yung feeling. Okay. So, after waiting, maghihintay ka, tatawagin ka sa window. I was in window 52. I was in window 52. And then, uh, tinawag na ako. But, I had a problem when she called me when she looked at my paperwork and then she asked for my photos and then she said oh i'm sorry i cannot process i cannot process you yet because your photos that you submitted is not clear enough so this is very important that you remember that we submitted a photo during our medical exam in saint luke I did submitted a photo a photo there for and then it was not clear enough it was not good enough for them so I was so lucky that I had another photo with me I had six copies another copies with me which is more better quality kasi uh, mas mas mahal mahal mas mahal mahal yung bayad ko noon kaysa sa nung isa na sinabmit ko sa Saint Luke ang purpose ko lang yun noon eh. sa Saint Luke is gusto ko yung picture na yun kasi kasi na, nagagandahan ako sa kuha <laughs> tapos only to find out na hindi pala pasado sa kanila hindi nila ma-read so pinapunta ako sa ibang window para picturean para picture niya. Tapos pag pagkatapos na mag picture ay babalik ka na naman ulit sa pila. So hassle kaya dapat kung magbibigay kayo ng photos sa Saint Luke during the medical exam, make sure that it is cleared and you know mayroon silang mayroon silang mga uh, uh, ano ba yun? Mga dapat sundin. Yung, yung format. Yung format for US visa. Okay. So, kailangan talaga i-follow para hindi matulad sa akin na nagpila na naman ako ulit kasi hindi nila mabasa yung first picture na sinend ko sa kanila. Okay. But still, I did it. So, after the first window, that is the pre-processing. That is the pre-processing. So, natapos na ako sa pag-take ng, ng picture. Bumalik na naman ako. And then, that was the pre-screening. So, yung US Embassy personnel ay magtatanong sa'yo kung malahat kung kailan kayo kinasal ng asawa mo, kung saan kayo nagkakilala, ano ba ang tarbaho niya, kasal ba siya dati, yung mga ganun. Tapos, kailangan talaga na maging honest ka. Just be true to yourself. Kasi kapag hindi ka nagsasabi ng totoo, oh, malalaman at malalaman din nila. Kasi paulit-ulit li paulit-ulit yung mga tanong hindi lang hindi lang isang window hindi lang isang uh, personal yung mag interview sa iyo consul hindi lang isa hindi lang isa yung sa pre-screening tapos yung sa pinakalas harap ka na talaga sa US consul so kapag hindi totoo yung sinasabi mo may posibilidad na ma ka 
So just be true to yourself and just tell them the truth. Kailan kayo nagkakilala? Anong site ba kayo nagkakilala? Ilang beses na ba siya nakapunta dito sa Pilipinas? Yung mga tanong na ganun. Um, tapos, after sa pre-screening, lilipat ka na naman ng ibang window at ang pangalawa ay ikukunan ka na ang ano, biometrics. So, madali na lang yun. Uh, pipila ka na naman ulit sa ibang window. Tapos, uh, kukunin yung fingerprints mo. At pagkatapos, ay pupunta ka na sa last window who is um, the US Consul na mag-i-interview mag sa inyo. Yun na ito, ang, ito na yung panghuli. So, the US Consul, mayroong babae, mayroon ding lalaki. So, mayroon din silang translator in case na yung, uh, yung nag-a-apply ay uh, hindi makapagsalita ng English. So, there's somebody who are going to translate it. Kasi may mga Amerikanong consul, may mga foreign national din na mga consul na hindi nakakaintindi ng Tagalog. Okay. So, after that, you need to, you need to ready, when you, when you get to the consul, you need to ready all your supporting documents because they are going to ask for it. And then, sa case ko, ah, uh, um, nagtanong sila kung kailan, again, tinanong na naman ako ulit, kailan kami kinasal, taga saan yung asawa ko, saan yung address na titirhan ko dito sa US pagdating ko dito, kailangan na memorize mo yun, pati yung zip code, kailangan, kasi tatanungin yan. Tapos, ah, uh, titingnan kung uh, magtatanong kung meron ka bang mga photos of you together. So, lucky. I'm lucky kasi uh, hindi ko nakalimutang dalhin yung, yung mga photos na inilagay ko sa uh, envelope. Envelope, yeah. Yung mga prena photos namin at mga wedding pictures namin. And then, yeah. It, that's what that was it and then the consul told me congratulations and then they gave me a two uh, two paper that contains the contact number where do where you it contains a lot of information about immigrating immigrating to the US and also the small the small paper, the small document, the pamphlet, ay um, mayroong instruction kung papaano mo ibibigay eh, yung address mo para ma-deliver nila yung US visa mo. So, kailangan mo, yung, kailangan mo silang tawagan para ma-update kung, kung exact ba yung address para madali nilang ma-deliver yung visa mo. So, that was it. Congratulations, congratulations, your visa is approved. And parang, oh, I was so happy, very happy that time. So that was my experience in my U.S. visa interview. So I hope that uh, makatulong ako sa mga, mga Filipina, mga buhula na si Juan na ano, ano pa man, no? Na uh, maka maka ano makatulong kung meron man kayong mga katanungan and just be just feel free to comment down below if you have more questions that I'm willing to answer um, I am willing to answer okay so that's all for today and please subscribe if you like my videos and have a good day everyone bye bye